So you've created your fillable form and now you want to have an easy way for your users to submit their completed forms back to you. You can do this by including a submit button at the bottom of your form with instructions for your user. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Be sure and check out the playlist on my channel for creating fillable forms for other helpful tips. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be using a schedule availability form. And what I'm going to do is place my cursor where I want to in insert the submit button. I'm going to come up to my developer tab. And remember, if you don't have the developer tab visible, all you have to do is right click anywhere on your ribbon, click customize ribbon. It'll open up this menu and make sure that the developer tab is checked and selected and click OK. Then you'll have your developer tab. Now over here on the developer tab, come to where you see the legacy tools drop down. And then under here, under ActiveX controls, this icon here, when you hover over it, it's the command button. That's what we're going to insert. So click on that. And you notice down here, it inserts the command button. Go ahead and right click on there and select properties. It'll open up your properties box and under the caption is where you can rename and label this button whatever you want it to say. So you could label it click to send if you want to. Um, I'm going to just label mine submit. And you can also, if you need to change the font, just click there and there's a drop down where you could change the font um, if you needed to on the submit button so it matches the rest of your document. All right, let's go back over here. And uh, you can also change the font color if you want to. You can um, click the drop down up here if you need to change the background of the button color, you can do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and close the properties and now I want to program that submit button. So to do that, we're going to use a little bit of VBA code and I'm going to go ahead and paste this code in the description of the video below. So all you have to do is copy it and paste it into your Visual Basic Editor for your button. These highlighted areas are the areas that you're going to replace with your own customized information. So the subject is the subject, whatever you want the subject of your email to be. So it could be the name of the form that people are replying back so that when you get all those emails, you'll see based on the subject, you'll know that it's a returned form. Uh, the body, you can include a couple of sentences in the body of the email automatically. And then, of course, the most important piece is to include the email address, either your email address or the email address where you want the completed forms sent back to. So all you have to do is copy and paste that and get ready. Um, come back to your command button, double click to open the Visual Basic Editor, and then you're going to just paste that code into this area. And again, replace the subject, the body, and your email address in these sections right here. When you click Save, you're going to save your form. Uh, make sure that your Word document is actually saved as a macro-enabled document. So when you save your form and you click Save As, make sure that the file type is this um, the second one down, which is Word macro-enabled document. All right, you're going to save it. All right, let me go back here. And so now, Let's go ahead and restrict editing on the form. Remember, when we're almost done with our form, we go ahead and restrict editing. We check the box under number two and make sure that it's selected for filling in forms. We're going to take it out of design mode and then click yes, start enforcing protection. And I'm not going to put a password. Now my form is ready to go to send to users. And this is a schedule availability form. So I'm sending it to my users because I want to know, are they available or not available for a certain time slot to teach a certain day of the week, for example. So my user is going to fill in the form. And then at the bottom, I have some instructions that I included for them. They're going to click submit. And when they click the submit button, it's going to automatically open up their Microsoft Outlook email client. You'll notice that the two is automatically sending to your email address that you program in there. Same thing with the subject and the body text of the email. And then the completed form is an attachment. So all the user has to do at this point is click send and that completed form gets sent automatically to you. 
If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website at SharonSmithHR.com. If you have any questions or tips, be sure and leave them in the comment section below the video. Again, I'm going to paste the code that you'll need right there so you'll be able to access it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.